Aquarius, good morning and welcome to your general reading. This is a Sun Moon Rising reading. My name's Clive. You're watching Emery's Tarot. So without further ado, let's see what's going on for the sign of Aquarius. I'm here to channel messages from the universe towards you. My aqua my aquas. Here we go. going on with Aquarius what's the situation for Aquarius there you are three of wands okay there has been a very very slow approach of events coming to a pinnacle point where it's time to act time to make a decision okay decisions you've been pondering on okay this is saying, whatever it is you're going to do, do it. <laughs> you know, like the famous advert, just do it. Okay. I'm getting here that you've been blowing rather cold towards somebody. Okay. There is a, there is a bit of a change of perspective here. And what it's done is create a beautiful opportunity for you. Now, this opportunity could be in work. Like I say, this is a general read. It could be in relationships, but either way, it's basically time to act. I am getting that there is a particular situation you are slowly turning your back on because, you know, it, it hasn't been very comfortable for you, to say the least, Aquarius. All right, so let's see what the challenge is. High Priest in this deck. Okay, that's the Hierophant in the Rider Waite deck. All right, is a decision about a long-term connection. All right, could well be that there's a marriage or another long-term connection that's kind of blocking you from advancing immediately. Okay, now I've just said, yes, it's time to act. And you can act in many, many ways, okay? You can either leave this situation behind, you can either go forward with it, make plans, deal with immediate necess necessities first, okay? What I'm getting here is, this is really about what you want long-term, both in work or and in your love life, all right? High Priestess here, High Priest, sorry, you know, this is all about long-term connections. In work, it's about signing new contracts. Okay. Mm-hmm. What's your energy, Aquarius? You know, you could be single all right, and dealing with somebody here who is married or in another connection. This could be a work connection. Mm. but your energy is breaking free, becoming individual, doing something for yourself. You are making major decisions, Aquarius. I'm kind of getting that some of you are in a situa a long-term connection, okay? And you want to kind of break free. You want your independence. Uh, even in work, you want your independence, perhaps going solo, setting up your own business. But in relationships, it's kind of like you, where there's been codependency, you you want to spend more time on your own and do things for you. Mm -hmm. You're in the process of creating a very, very comfortable Productive life. Mm, way to go, Aquarius. Plans. It's yeah. It's time to make decisions here on getting on putting your plans into action, whatever they are. Okay. This is a decision only you can make. Nobody can make this decision for you. I'm getting that you're not really letting anybody else tell you what to do either. And good for you, Aquarius. Good for you. You're acting on your own judgment here. Mm 
what's happened in the past. Four of Pentacles, yeah. In money, I'm kind of getting it was a bit of a worry in the past, but you've been very productive in that area. Okay. You've been building up your reserves, perhaps building up your savings account, ready to make your move. I'm picking up here relocation for some of you. All right. Yeah, you became very self-protective, Aquarius. You had a very strong belief on this new venture of yours, whether it's in relationships or work. And it's kind of like things are starting to come into place, fall into place. Like I said, there's it's, it's coming to that pinnacle point. There's people you're dealing with or person you're dealing with. There was a particular relationship situation that did get a bit of stunted in the past. Right, this person is... I'm kind of getting, they feel that their previous lifestyle wasn't working for them. They now realise they want to be with you. Whereas they wanted to keep their individuality and independence okay in the past, I'm getting that they now want to connect with you. Despite their circumstances, whether they're married or not, okay, they've decided that they kind of want to give up that lifestyle if they were dating other people if you were dealing with a bit of a player type energy i'm kind of getting this person is prepared to you know put all that on the back burner here mm. i'm getting distance is a problem for some of you all right what's, what's the energy in kind of in between you yeah, it's all about choices putting those dreams into reality yeah yeah aqua I'm kind of getting that you despite your options you know and despite choices in the past you now feel you're doing the right thing mm. now it's just a question of bringing the your dreams and ambitions into reality Some of you are in, in your love life dealing with two people. I'm kind of getting this is all about making your decision. As I said, Aqua, you're in the process of letting go. What's your intentions? Yeah. Yeah. You've, once you've got it clear in your head, your intentions are to act. You're in, you've been quiet for a long time. You've been kind of living in this grey emotional area. Okay. And now it's, it's a deciding on what you want to focus on. I'm getting some very creative ideas coming in. Okay. You've been doing a lot of self-reflecting here, Aqua, about this particular situation. And you're about ready to reveal your thoughts and feelings. Mm. You felt like you've been in between worlds a long time. What's this person's intentions that you're dealing with? Well, they they do intend to connect with you, okay, despite their situation. All right, Page of Pentacles. If there's been silence, I'm kind of getting that silence will be broken. They are very cautious, okay, in their approach, but uh, it's like they feel that they can make this work. They're very persistent.
they want to put across to you their ideas. What's the most likely forward energy, going forward energy for Aquarius? Oh, relocation, settling down, whether this is in work or relationships. I'm kind of getting there's possibly they intend they intend to invite you to their place or ask to visit you to spend some private time together. Um, what I'm getting here is the, well, call it outcome, I suppose, but I don't like that word outcome. I like the word, you know, ongoing energy because things are constantly changing. Outcome to me always seems to mean finality on a situation, but nothing's ever final. It's, it's always progress, always moving. But what I'm getting here is, you know, at least meeting for a chance to bounce your ideas off each other for a, a way forward. You know, so you're going from a stuck energy to a productive energy here. Uh, these two fours in the major arcanas is the strength card. So it's going to need strength, determination and willpower. But a very, very passive kind of approach to it rather than a aggressive approach. I'm going to leave it there. Thanks very much for watching.